G'day guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Sean. If you're new here and you're wondering what I talk about, I talk about PC stuff, technology, tutorials, gaming, streaming, really everything that's technology. Um, and today we're going to be talking about my PC and why it's here. Um, basically, in Sydney, Australia, where I live, it gets very, very hot. I have a very small studio, and when I'm gaming or streaming for a long time, things get very hot very, very quickly. So, in my little small Fantex and through Evolve ITX case, I've already got a 240mm rad with two 120mm fans, a 120mm fan in the front and a 140mm fan at the back, and it does give plenty of cooling, uh, but I'm just trying to make it quieter and actually add even more performance. So Noctua has been kind enough to send over a bunch of fans for me to check out. Um, I'm gonna share which fans with you guys today, and we're gonna be doing, I guess, a pull apart of the system, putting in the new fans, and then in part two, um, which will hopefully release tomorrow, the computer will have all the new fans. I'll share the benchmarks with you guys of before and after and whether or not I think it's worth um, purchasing premium fans and um, what benefits there might be. So thanks for watching this video. Um, stick around while we go through everything. And if you have any questions, make sure you leave them in the comment section down below. Let's begin. So where this video kind of starts is obviously the computer gets really, really hot in the room next to the 5K iMac. I was originally just shopping around for a 200 millimeter fan to put into the front of the case to actually increase the airflow going through it because there's really no issues at the moment with the performance of the CPU. It doesn't throttle. The graphics card throttle is just a little bit, but I wanted to get some more airflow coming through. Now, I've always been a big fan of Noctua's fans, mind the pun there. Um, but I've recommended Noctua's fans for a long, long, long time. They are a little bit more expensive than the competition. They don't have any RGB, like the rest of the competition is kind of drifting towards. But really, if you're looking at Noctua fans, you're looking at them for their high performance and then their low noise, because they're kind of inaudible, really, when you have them set at their stock speed. So we're going to be going ahead and chucking in the Noctua AF. Uh, this is the A20 PDWM fan. This is going to go into the front of the case. The case, by the way, is a Fantex Evolve N3 ITX case. This is the white version with the tempered glass, which I've temporarily removed for this video. The rear fan is the NFA14. So this is the fan that's going to go at the back of the case to help exhaust a lot of the hot air. And then we're going to be putting in two of Noctua's. These are the NFA12 uh, PWM fans. So these fans I've heard a lot of good things about. These are really meant to be used with radiators or air coolers, but you can put them wherever you want in your case. But they're really meant for um, going against radiators or anywhere you want low static pressure and a lot of, lot of airflow going through them. So, And they're meant to be very, very quiet as well. So like I said, Noctua fans are probably more expensive collectively than the rest of the competition. But if you're in an environment where I guess noise is very important, and you want to have low noise, high airflow. Um, I really can't recommend anything better than Noctua fans. I've been, like I said, a fan of them for a very, very, very long time. So we'll go ahead and we'll do a bit of a kind of um, quick summary of each of the fans and a bit of an unboxing. Um, I'm not going to you know, spend a lot of time doing this because I've got to basically take out the fans that are currently in the PC. At the moment, we've got two Cooler Master 120mm RGB fans in the top. We've got a Noctua 120mm fan here in the front already. Bit of a story behind that fan is I've actually had it for such um, a long time that it's more of a sentimental thing that I chuck it into every single PC. It was one of the first purchases I made when um, I had very little money and I was buying PC parts. So this fan is probably about five or six years old at least. Um, and still works perfectly. Just wanna you know, change it out for that 200mm. And then we've got the Fantex 140mm which comes with the case at the back. So they're all gonna be removed. No more RGB fans in the top, just RGB RAM, the Cooler Master LED bar, and the pump, and everything's gonna be replaced with these Noctua fans. So I guess we've got um, some benchmarking to do in part two, showing you the performance um, as far as the temperatures and what they've gone down to um, under a full load. So I've already done it before and I'll show you the after results as well, um, and that'll be in part two. So let's do the unboxing 
and I can show you what comes included with pretty much every fan. All right, so we'll start with the NFA12 PWM fan. Um, like I said, they're a premium fan and the packaging really reflects that. They've got such nice packaging, they put a lot of effort into it. These fans come all the way from Austria, that's where they're made, that's where they're engineered. Um, absolutely amazing product. So some of the things I talk about on the actual packaging is unprecedented quiet cooling performance, ideal for CPU coolers and water cooling radiators, flow acceleration channels. So in the actual fan blades you'll see there's like little kind of grooves cut out for helping get as much airflow going through as possible. Um, you've got this kind of funky material called Sterex liquid crystal polymer compound. So the fans are actually really light but also really strong. Um, and a six year warranty. So I think a six year warranty um, really shows you that they stand behind their product and they don't really expect them to fail. As far as some of the specifications, um, so with the low noise adapter, um, you can get a 1700 uh, RPM fan speed or without the adapter up to 2000 RPM. Airflow, you're looking at 102 um, meters cubed an hour of airflow and a maximum noise of 22 decibels, minimum noise of 18.8 .8 decibels and static pressure of 2.34 um, and then with the low noise adapter 1.65. So really, really high performance fans if you know what um, all that means. Um, in the box, we've got here a 30 centimeter extension cable, um, a four pin Y cable, a low noise adapter, anti-vibration mounts, fan screws, and anti-vibration gasket for water cooling radiators. So it's gonna be really important, that gasket part, because the gasket's gonna go around the fan and it's gonna help actually secure it to the radiator and make sure there's no friction and it's up as close as possible and it's not gonna vibrate when it's pushing all that air through. So it's to make sure that there is as little of a gap as possible between the fan and the radiator. Now, inside the packaging, they also give you a bit of a graph which shows you the fan curve with their fans compared to, I guess, uh, some, of the, some of the other fans that are out there, I believe. Yeah, so they've got compared to some of their own Noctua fans, so you can get an idea of what kind of acoustic performance you're going to get with these. If you're, you know, I guess an engineer and you're designing fans, you want to include that information. If you're a customer and that's really important to you, it's great that they provide it because not everybody does. Taking the fan out of the packet, you can see we've got the fan, we've got these vibration um, kind of securing mounts, we've got the adapters that they talked about and we've also got in the back some some screws and the gasket so the color scheme is kind of this brown and cream color but I, I personally really dig it not everybody does but that's just me so that's the NFA12 now we'll jump onto the A14 which is going to be going at the back of the case so the A14 is probably going to be very very similar to the A12 slightly different packaging the actual fan blades I believe are a little bit more spaced out so if we kind of compare them you can see the A12 on my right, uh, the fan blades are a little bit more closer together, more fan blades. The NFA14 is the fan blades are a little bit more spaced out, um, so that's to guess provide more airflow rather than static pressure. Same adapters, same screws. Um, I don't believe, yeah, there's no gasket with that one because you're not going to be putting it against the radiator. And then the last fan, the big Bertha, is the NFA20 which I'm pretty excited about. So this one, open up the packaging, you've got this huge fan, you've got the documentation at the top, which is pretty crazy that they include documentation for a fan, and then the fan itself. Obviously it's not going to be for going against a radiator, this is going to be for cases that have the option of a 200 millimeter fan um, to be mounted. So in this case, it's going to be going at the front of the case for me. And then taking out that plastic packaging, we've got a little knock to a box here, which has got the same thing. So we've got some mounts, we've got some screws, and we've got some adapters if we need them, and extension cables. So uh, all of the accessories that you get in the Noctua range are pretty much identical, except for that A12, which comes with the gasket if you want it. So you're not just really paying for fans, you're paying for all of the, um, let just chuck that on the ground, you're paying for all the design as well. So let me see if I can get all three of these fans. Let's chuck these in the ground in one shot. Like I said, I'll probably um, be doing a lot of B-roll of these fans as well. See if you can count how many times I say the word fan and let me know how many times I said it, because I'm pretty sure I've said it over 50 times already. So we've got, ooh, this is going to be difficult. I don't think I can do it. You've got the A12, 120 at the front. Uh, at the top of the case, sorry, with the radiators. 140 going at the back. And then you've got 
the 200 mil um, at the front. So did I muck that up? 140 at the back, 120s at the top, 200 at the front, yeah. So let's get stuck into taking all the fans out, assembling it, and I'll see you guys in part two uh, to share with you the benchmarks and performance. And if you have any questions about anything that I've said, or you think that I've missed something or rambled on too long, just leave those comments down in the comment section down below. If you like this video, chuck it a like. If you didn't like this video, give it a dislike. Um, and as always, subscribe so you don't miss out on any other future videos, especially part two. Thanks a lot, see you in the next video. Cheers.